Metromont is a, is a large producer of precast, pre-stressed concrete products. Uh, we build big things, basically. We've got plants in multiple states. Our plants are challenged with aggressive schedules, aggressive designs to be competitive. When you're so good at dealing with the short term and dealing with short term problems, you do that in a lot of ways at, through compromising the skill set that's needed to step back out of the business and work on it. I think that the lack of activity toward our strategic plan often fell on the fact that we didn't have alignment. We would develop a plan and we would not execute that plan. We would basically We'd create a, a book, a roadmap, and it would be placed on a shelf, and we may not look at it again until three years later. My grandfather wrote an um, essay called the, the Life of a Nonconformist, and I read it years ago. We were having this uh, staff strategic planning retreat, and I just said, you know, I thought it would be a good idea to share this. I think my thoughts were, hmm, I wonder if this is going to be like other strategic planning meetings I've been in where it's more of a number crunching session versus talking about how to move the company forward and how to create a culture of inclusion and a culture of family. When Rick read the letter, you could see people's faces light up thinking, wow, this is Metromont. This is really what we're built on. He was radically passionate about doing what was right for the greater good of people. It really struck everyone to the point that we had um, everyone's full attention. We all of a sudden were perfectly willing to be open, transparent about what we thought about things. We, we talked a lot about the need for clarity, why organizations need to be clear about their purpose, need to be clear about how they're going to behave, they need to be clear about what's important, and they need to be clear about how they're going to execute. We ended up with a document that we call our playbook. I left the room thinking, wow, where has this book been all my life? <laughs> I've been doing this in the past. Um, the amazing way that we were able to strategically plan where Metromont was going and that we had the buy-in from everybody. The playbook allows us to say, okay, when the distractions arise, and they do, especially when you're a very tactically oriented business like ours, it allows us to say, does this fit? Where does this fit? Living the strategic plan and living the playbook have been most important in all that we do, even through some of these, these hard times that we've been through recently. When we were faced with the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, we knew what was before us and we met the challenge. We hit the ground running and have really stuck to our plan and it's worked. We decided to, to go back basically to four days a week of production. And in those four days a week of production, we have maintained or exceeded the level of profitability that we had a year ago. The playbook for us is the roadmap. We've basically kept it in the forefront instead of putting it on a shelf. And, and what that's gonna allow us to do is to build momentum with our associates. We've been able to stay operational and our associates, I think, really appreciate everything that we've done to keep the workplace safe for them. All business leaders are stewards of their business. And if you're going to live the values of faith, honor, and passion throughout your company, you're taking on a level of stewardship that requires you to look at your business globally and to look at the bigger picture and how your business fits into the bigger picture in order to honor those values for the family that we say we care for.